Baker, and definitely something Yale is happy to see, having Yetman back on the ice. Great save there by Harrison on Yetman. Saw her stepping up. Looked like Yale wanted a call there, too. A great defensive stick there by McLaurin. A great save by Harrison. Puck is loose. Referee is washing out a goal. I didn't see the puck come anywhere close to the goal line. Now Marchman dangles through the defender, fires a shot, she scores! Oh, Kennedy Marchman, what a goal! For Yale, Pensaval can't pull off the move, loses it right to Webster. Webster pulls up, backhands it down for Miller, but she has it knocked off her stick, right to Marchman, and she scores! Coming off the bench was Amanda McClure, able to get to the puck in time and keep it in the offensive zone. Saints have spent uh, the last minute or so. There's a goal! Not sure if anybody got a piece of that, kind of a floater. Quarter shot from Brook Webster. Switch goaltenders, so O'Brien after about half a game of work gives way to Hoffman, the starter from last night. There's a shot from Reyes and a goal, and it's 4 nothing. And Stens are over, so that makes the power play for Yale that much more dangerous. Phoebe Stens, their best offensive player. Great save there by Grace Harrison. Going one way, puck going the other, able to reach out with the blocker and slow it down Hoffman enough. with two seconds and one, and that will do it. Their first playoff series at home since 2008-2009. And the Saints sweep Yale 4-1 on Friday, 4-0 on Saturday. They're back to the ECAC semifinals for the second straight year. And this fantastic season the Saints are having will just keep going. 26